For more information, check out my blog, theguy.com. You will need a fresh pomegranate, or you can use pomegranate juice, but the pomegranate juice makes it really, really runny, so I suggest using a real pomegranate. If you do decide to use juice though, make sure it's 100%. You're going to cut the pomegranate how you would normally cut the pomegranate. I just cut off the ends, make some slits in the side, and then take out the seeds in some water. Pomegranate is great for mature skin or any skin type in general, especially if you're acne prone. It's full of antioxidants which help fight free radicals. Now free radicals cause premature aging so pomegranate fights against that. And it's really really great for skin rejuvenating because it's full of vitamin A, C, E and even zinc which are amazing for good skin. So because pomegranate has all of these vitamins in it, it's going to help promote healthy skin because it's going to speed up the cell renewal process and it's really going to make your skin radiate. Because of the zinc in the pomegranate, it's going to be great for acne prone skin as well because it's going to stop all the impurities and it's going to unclog your pores and it's going to cause less breakouts and eventually stop them. This pomegranate mask really lightens and brightens your face, like it honestly makes you look radiant. I use this mask every morning before I get into the shower and I leave it on for half an hour on my skin and then I just wash it off in the shower. You will notice that after you use this mask, your skin will begin to glow. Okay, so that was the education part of this. But what you're going to do is take out all the pomegranate seeds from your pomegranate and make sure you get rid of the white stuff because you don't want any of that white stuff in your mask. And then you're going to drain the water because all you want is the seeds. Once you've drained the water, put your seeds into a blender. You will also need some honey. You can use Manuka honey, which I will be using. Or you can also use raw honey. Raw honey is honey that hasn't been processed, so it's going to be in a thick state. It's not going to be runny. Manuka honey is honestly a skin miracle. It is so amazing for your skin. It contains properties that are antibacterial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory. So it gives your skin a lot of moisture and allows new skin to grow. It also repairs damaged skin, so your skin's going to look healthier, it's going to look fresh, it's going to glow, and it's just going to look amazing mixed with the pomegranate. Just some advice though, Manuka honey can be kind of expensive if you don't buy it on sale. Look out for sales and you can find the little tub that I have for like $5. With this tub size, you'll probably be able to get 3 if not 4 batches of this pomegranate honey mask and honestly that's probably going to last you about 6 or 7 months. So you're just going to take a heaping tablespoon full of that Manuka honey and you're going to put it into the pomegranate seeds that are in our blender. Just get all of that gooey, delicious honey in there. I don't know if you guys have ever tried Manuka honey, but it kind of tastes like Vicks Vapor Rub. To me, I guess. I don't know. So you're just going to blend those two together until they're nicely mixed. <laughs> it looks like I'm making a smoothie. Well, I am. For your face. Yay! Face smoothie! After you've blended it together, just put it into a container and you can put this in the fridge for as long as you'd like. Now I'm going to show you how to apply it. Start off with cleansed skin. So wash your face with whatever cleanser that you use and make sure that your face is free of any chemicals or anything you want a fresh face. Then you want to pat your skin dry with a towel. Pat. Never rub your skin. Never ever ever rub your skin. That's not good for you. It causes breakouts. So pat your skin dry. So I'm going to take my Manuka honey and pomegranate mixture and just put a little bit onto my hand. I usually use about half a teaspoon. And I'm going to start patting that and rubbing that onto my facial skin. Sometimes it can be a little runny so just be a little careful with it. You want to get this all over your face. Once you get the hang of applying this on your face, apply it in circular motions. You'll notice that the seeds from the pomegranate are going to be really exfoliating and just feel really nice on your skin. You don't need to apply a thick layer of this since it is kind of runny. 
So just get it all over your skin to the best of your abilities and make sure you get some of those seeds onto your skin because you want to use those for later. You want to be careful not to get this in or around your eyes, so keep a good distance from your eyes. I usually apply a layer and then go over it one more time with another thin layer and then do a stupid dance and then I just keep applying it. Now you're going to leave this mixture on your face for 30 minutes. You'll notice that your skin gets really really sticky after it's dried and you can even stick stuff on your face. After your face is dried, you're ready to wash it. You don't want to use a cleanser to wash this off. Just wash it off with lukewarm water. When you're washing your face, make sure you wash in circular motion so that the pomegranate seeds exfoliate your skin as well. And once your face is washed, remember to pat your skin, don't rub. And then after you've washed it off, you can apply your toner, apply your moisturizer, and you are good to go. You're going to see that your skin glows. I use this mask every day before I get into the shower. I leave it on for 30 minutes and honestly, after I wash it off, my skin is glowing. This is the mask that I use in spring slash summer and a lot of you have asked if I still use the turmeric mask and yes, I do use that mask but I use it more in the fall and winter months since it's really 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 moisturizing and that's when my skin is the most dry. Check out my previous video. I'm not really gonna say much because my husband's looking at me right now like I need to make friends. <laughs> Check it out.